Hi, this is Stacy Villas Family Farms, and I am stupid tired. I'm making, I'm making a lot of stupid mistakes, but that's okay. I will get past it, and eventually I'll get some rest. I was down in southern Oklahoma again, trying to get Mom and Dad moved. Mom and Dad have made it to Florida, and I'm grateful for that. And they're down there next to my brother, and they're about to get there. They're still going to start working on the house that they just bought. They need to put some new flooring in it, and they want to do some painting but and minor stuff. But they, they're at their house in Florida, and they're happy. I stayed behind and uh, was going to see the movers come in, and they were supposed to have been on Thursday, but they didn't show up, but I had to make an emergency run down there on Saturday, well, on Friday, so I could be there on Saturday for uh, for the movers to show up, and I didn't get, not, okay, I lost my chip. I, I'm so stupid tired of the chip that's supposed to have all these videos and stuff on it, I lost it, so I don't have any footage of the house before that my, uh, the movers came, I don't have any footage of our reunion that we had because I haven't seen my brother in 10 years and I would have really wanted to see him so I drove down to Dallas to visit him and then my sister was there so we had all five of us mom and dad Michelle and Eugene and myself we were we had a really nice dinner together but did I do it did I have a good footage of it no because I lost my chip but I have but the movers came on Saturday that turned into a huge nightmare dad had uh, uh, grossly underestimated how much stuff that needed to be moved not his fault I mean Okay, he, he underestimated it, but somebody from the company was supposed to come out and, and assess the situation to determine how many tr truly how much furniture was showing up or was going to be shipped, how much, how many boxes, you know, total number of pieces and stuff. Okay, so the bottom line is the movers showed up. They were told that it was going to be a load and go, and it was not. They were supposed to do some packing, spe some specific things that Dad had put on the, on the contract. They needed to pack what was on the... Uh, in the in the kitchen, you know, for glassware and stuff, and uh, and they did not have that information. So by the time we determined how much they were going to have to pack and how much they were going to have to load and stuff, the it was going to be double what mom and dad had paid for to move their stuff across country. So that was not cool at all. But at the same time, all this everything had to come out of the house. And I'm remote. Mom and Dad are now obviously remote. So everything had to come out of the house so we could sell it. And I told them to pack everything up and let it go. And then uh, somewhere down the road, Mom and Dad decided, no, they don't want to pay pie twice as much. I can't blame them. But the problem, the different problem with that is, is it was still the same amount of stuff that had to be moved. But they told me to go back and tell them that they had to follow the contract. Well, by that time, they had already done a lot of packing. So therefore, they were already outside their contract. They got a lot of stuff loaded. It is, it should be in uh, uh, Jacksonville tomorrow, and that's great, but there's a lot of stuff left in the house. Like, almost everything in the shop is, uh, shops are, is still there, and quite a bit, some furniture and a lot of boxes are still in the house. That So, therefore, I'm going back down Monday to, uh, no, today's Monday. I'm going back tomorrow, and I'm going to try to get as much of uh, Mom and Dad's stuff into the shipping container as I can so that I can get an accurate just. Uh, count uh, accurate size of what how much how big the truck is i need because it looks like we're going to do a u-haul truck if we called another shipping company it's going to cost that much more again anyway so we're going to do a u-haul we're going to load the u-haul and it looks like kenzie and tom and i are going to be going on a road trip we're going to load the u-haul and uh and drive it to jacksonville and then mom and dad are going to fly us back home so it's going to be fun but i'm so so tired I'm so stupid tired trying to deal with all this and uh, we'll get it done and hopefully I can get my act together and we can start getting some video of some of this stuff too